google calendar tutorial for beginners hello guys welcome back in today's video i'm going to give you a tutorial about google calendars and how you can use that as a beginner so let's get into it so as you all know that google has a whole domain of these amazing platforms that you can use for free and you can basically do anything with them you have right here you have account you have business you have play you have news gmail meet drive contacts chat in there there is a platform which is google calendar so just like a normal calendar that tells date google calendar calendar allows you at a lot of different features that you can use to keep everything like to be ahead of time to know everything beforehand and to basically organize all of your dates and events in a really amazing manner so here how you can access google calendar you can just go on to google and you can type calendar.google.com or you can open your chrome browser access this widget and you are going to see all of the apps that are associated with google and in there you are going to find google calendar so i have already opened the calendar for me and here you can see that this is the main calendar and how it looks like so this is basically all of the dates of this week and right now i am it, it is friday and that's why it is highlighted and it is 10th of march and whatever events that are happening in all of the religions like for example there was a holy and now there's a shabbat barat they are all listed on google calendar as well the christmas will be listed the easter will be listed eids will be listed for muslims and the holy and other festivals of indians will be listed every festival that is celebrated in the world is listed on google uh, on the specific that date that it is coming so you can check it on google what it will be the date of your own festival then uh, if there is some important day like national holidays or international holidays those are also listed on google as well like for example when there are holidays for like labor's day or women's day or something like that they're all listed on google as well and you can see and you can check what day it is and whenever you open a google calendar if it is a day something like that you will get to know what it is the a whole little calendar is appearing right here and you can see that all of the days and time and you can basically switch from uh, april to may and you can see all of the months and if you want to have a calendar of uh, you know uh, right now it is march if you want to have a calendar of different uh, you know year you can also access it on google calendar as well so right now i am viewing a version of a week so if you want to see yearly version you are going to switch to that and here you can see that this is the yearly version a monthly version of the calendar is going to look something like this so here you can see that this is the main calendar now how you are going to basically access different things here you can see that you have your calendars in your calendars this is the email that i have logged in you have your birthdays your family your reminders and your tasks so in google you can create different type of event and you can also create different type of tasks how you can create them you are going to click on this option which says create open it and you're going to get an option to create an event or create a task for that what you're going to do if you want to create an event an event should be like you want to mark birthdays of people that are important to you for example add title i'm just going to add the event as birthday okay so it is an event it is a task a reminder appointment schedule so this is what google is asking if you want to change it you can do that now what is the event when is the event going to be i'm going to change it to march 23 and when is the event going to be it is going to start from uh, let's say i am marking a birthday so birthday usually starts from 12 a.m to 12 p.m so i'm just going to find 12 a.m and i'm going to mark the ending time is of the event is going to be 11 30 p.m okay so 11 30 p.m so it is going to be a 23.5 hours event and or you can also go on and select all day so it is automatically going to be the whole thursday okay so then you can if you want to find a time you can just go on and find a time and if you want to uh, repeat this you can add a daily repetition you can add the weekly on thursdays monthly on the fourth thursday annually on 20, march 23 yes i'm going to add this as a repetition that it is going to happen on annually on march 23 every day monday to friday or custom okay so this is what i've added now there's an option to add guests if you want to add a google meet video conference you want to add a location to this event you want to add a description or attachment to this event you are go on you can do that so i'm not going to do that as well because this is a birthday event so you don't have a specific location for that or description or attachments or nothing to go with the birthday so i'm just going to after filling out everything i'm just going to click on save and this will be saved forever while i'm using this specific id and whenever 23rd march will arrive 
rise on um, every year i will be reminded of this birthday so want to get better notifications calendar needs permission to display notifications through your browser if you want to get to have your notifications through your browser you can uh, ask it to continue i'm just going to dismiss it right now because i don't want my notifications to go through my browser so right now uh, i have just created an event now if i want to create a task it is going to be something like this like for example i'm creating a task what the task is going to be and the task is going to be on 11th and the time that i've added for the task is 6 p.m you can also add it all day but let's say i want to add it at 6 p.m and so the task description is going to be like go shopping or something like that this is a very random thing that to i have added to do but you can do something else okay i've added go shopping now does not repeat do you want it to be repeated daily weekly on saturday monthly on second saturday or on annually on 11th march i would just say i want to go on shopping monthly on second saturday so let's say i want to go shopping for groceries so it is important it is a monthly thing that a person does so i've added a reminder for that now in my tasks if you have a list of your tasks it is going to be added into your that kind of task but i don't have that so i'm just going to click on save right here so another event i have added as a task so here you can see that this is how it looks like and this is how a birthday look like now in my calendars what you're going to do is you're going to access your birthdays so in your calendars your birthdays are going to be represented like this your family is going to be represented like this your reminders and tasks everything is going to be represented if you don't want it to be represented you can just check the box out and they won't be up appear on your uh, calendar and you will get notified whenever that day comes so google calendar is really easy to use and there is nothing as much in, neither is complicated and there are not a lot of things that you want to get acquainted with because it is just a simple thing that you're going to get on google calendar you can create events you can create uh, tasks and you will get reminders whenever that thing or that date approaches so in the main menu you can just you know this is the main menu of google calendar you if you want to look at the calendar just only you can ask it you can basically hide it as well so you can also add a title uh, or if you want to select this date like for example i just selected three and now uh, this is you know a broader view of just the three friday now if you have a couple of recurring tasks that are going to happen on three they're all all are going to be appear on the specific time that is going to happen so it is a 24 hour timeline that i've just gotten on the date of the three of the friday so here you can see that if i have a task on nine if i have a meeting on like let's say 9 a.m then i have a task that i want to do on 12 p.m and i've listed all of that they're going to be appear one by one in these time zones if i want to add a specific task in this date i'm just going to click on this option and i'm going to uh, create an event or a task depending upon the nature of the thing that i want to create there's also a thing that you can create as an appointment scheduler but this is available for the premium version of google calendar that you have to pay a little bit money for but i'm not using that right now so that's why you can also add an appointment as a task and whenever that is approaching that time is approaching the google will notify you that you have an appointment or you have an approaching appointment so google calendar as you can have seen it is very easy to use so this was it for today's video guys i hope you found it helpful please give this video a big thumbs up and also subscribe to softwares made easy thank you